2019 Hometown Rising and Lindsay L. getting ready to hit the stage. How are you? I'm so good, Billy. It's so good to see you. Have you gotten a chance to meet your uh, touring headliner, Brantley Gilbert's new baby? Yet. I have not gotten a chance to meet her yet, but Brantley and I have been texting and I've seen some so adorable pictures. Like, she is just perfect. She's so small. Brant She's Brantley comes off as pretty rough, but I think you get to know him. He's really a, a soft guy. He's exactly the opposite as what you think he would be like. He is the sweetest, most generous, funniest guy that you'll ever meet. It's amazing. Were you afraid of him? At first, I was no. Well, I was more afraid <laughs> I was. of like his fans. <laughs> yes, I was like afraid of what his fans would be like, and I was intimidated by him because I was like, "What if he doesn't like me?" I mean, I just am a guitar nerd, and right. blah, 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 and he has just been the best. Like he's he's a brother to me. I could just imagine like a bunch of bearded outlaws in the front row with their arms crossed, just staring at you. Honestly, like Brantley's fans are the coolest. Mm -hmm. They're just. They love music. They're such just fans of like really good music and they come early. Like we hit the stage and the venue is full. I'm oh, like, wonderful. Can we tour with Brantley for the rest of our <laughs> life? Because he's awesome. <laughs> now he, he jokes around that he's going to be kind of hard on his daughter's boyfriend. Is, is that for real? You think he's really going to be that that much of a, a kind I of a shotgun cleaning pop? I am already fun? scared for him. You are? Okay. I'm yeah, already scared, scared for, for Braylon's <laughs> first boyfriend. Can, Poor girl. Can, can you imagine? Bringing your boyfriend home and be like, hey, this is my dad. Yeah. His name's Brantley. And Brantley's like joked about what he, he's going to do the first time yes. she brings a boy home. And he's like, it's vile. actually, I'm not, <laughs> he said, dirty. yeah, exactly. He's like, I'm not scared of the first one. He's like, I'm scared of the first one who breaks her heart. Cause mm. that, and I'm like, oh, that's a good, that's yeah. a good point there because whew, that poor boy. That actually sounds like a country song. That poor boy. We're talking about Brantley Gilbert, of course, because <laughs> Lindsay's on tour with Brantley, but also you have a top 10 single in What Happens in a Small Town. So crazy. High five in the first top 10. Thank you. It's really exciting. New music of your own to look forward to this year? Yes, I've been in the studio with Mr. Dan Huff. It's yeah. been so incredible and amazing. Um, just Dan is, is a guru. Where are we at emotionally on this album? Last album was... Yeah. A lot of love songs. A lot of love songs. Uh, like, what's kind of the heart of this album lyrically? This is like the other end of the spectrum. It's a lot of breakup songs. <laughs> a lot of breakup songs. I mean, in the past two years, I've been through a, a big breakup. I've gone through, like, getting over that heartbreak, figuring out how to be single again, living alone. It's like through the whole tunnel of, like, being, like, so heartbroken. Right. You're kind of at the bottom. And, and figuring out how to how to be all right. So like getting through the whole journey of like not okay to okay. Is that fun? Is this a fun album to make? Yeah, oh my gosh. It yes. is, okay, I don't but know. The process hasn't been fun of like being heartbroken right, and right. Like that writing stinks. about it, that part kind of sucks. But, but yeah, I've had so much fun creating it. And, and as you know, we've been in the studio with Dan, it's been, I've been having the time of my life. Yeah. Like seeing how it's going to take shape. And I'm like so ready to get this new music out because it's been a minute since I've had new music out. And so I, I'm i anxious. Is there any worry as you sort of start to create this album? Because your breakup was, was kind of on the higher profile mm -hmm. that people are going to maybe miss the heart of the song and just want to connect at the celebrity tabloidy nature of it. And well, it's weird because like... How do you avoid that? Going through... I don't think you do. Yeah. Like it's just part of it, you know? And... And I've, you know, written everything from happy to right. sad to mad to you just, I'm a songwriter, so I write all feelings and, and I've had to think a lot about, okay, the minute some fans hear these songs for the first time, they're automatically going to connect it to my previous relationship right. and rightly so, because I'm open on my social media and as I think every artist should, like we bring fans into our lives. And so I've really had to sort of take that into account and be like, Okay, well, this is me. But at the end of the day, I hope that people can see that this is me, and this is who we, that what we go through as humans. We all have days that we're sad, we're angry, we're happy, and so there's one song specifically that I don't know if it's gonna make it on the record yet. Oh, it's got to now. If it does, <laughs> whew, I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> It has to because it seems to be that's the song that stretches an artist most, and those are always the most I exciting know. moments for artists. I know, but I just hope fans. that especially he knows that, like, sometimes we just have days where we wake up and it's like right. you're angry at something. And so, in that moment, I like wrote this song, and it's not even that bad. I just am super sensitive to stuff like that. But in this moment, I wrote this song, and 
and it it just like depicts like the feeling of like a day mm -hmm. like it's not necessarily how I feel the other 670 whatever days right. There's actually only 364 yeah. days in a year. Oh, well, since the breakup, like, I get yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> like in two years, like, right, you know, yeah. that's like one day in the course of like the whole journey. I, I'm sure you won't, you won't tell me the title or sing it for me, but is there a song <laughs> that we know maybe that it's comparable to emotionally? A song that's out there, either in pop, country, rock. Um, I will say it has like a pretty hardcore Sheryl Crow vibe Ooh. to it. Like yeah. the chorus like opens up and it's like kind of like, like that throwback rock and roll like big yeah. guitars don't worry if it ends up on the album you'll know it i'll know what it is 